Hi, this is Jeff Klein, the editor of Radiographics, and I'm pleased to welcome you to the latest in our series of Radiographics Views blog posts. In the November-December issue of Radiographics, one of our three papers on chest imaging reviews the 2013 American Thoracic Society European Respiratory Society update on the classification of the idiopathic interstitial pneumonias. The authors of this paper include radiologists, a pulmonologist, and a pulmonary pathologist who describe the organization of the idiopathic interstitial pneumonias into four groups. The first, chronic fibrosing idiopathic interstitial pneumonia to include idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and nonspecific interstitial pneumonia, smoking-related idiopathic interstitial pneumonias, including respiratory bronchiolitis with associated interstitial lung disease and disquamative interstitial pneumonia, the acute or subacute idiopathic interstitial pneumonias, including cryptogenic organizing pneumonia and acute interstitial pneumonia, and rare idiopathic interstitial pneumonias, including lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis and idiopathic pleuroparenchymal fibroelastosis. The paper includes a table that details the key radiologic features and differential diagnosis of the idiopathic interstitial pneumonias. An important component is the list of CT findings, such as the presence of cysts, perilymphatic or central lobular nodules, tree and bud opacities, and mosaic attenuation that would suggest a diagnosis of a non-idiopathic interstitial pneumonia entity. Dr. Teresa McLeod of the Massachusetts General Hospital provides an expert commentary on the paper. Please find the article at the following link and Dr. McLeod's commentary at this link.